Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're looking in on the No Grit Bin. And this bin has been running for, I will put below how many days this has been running. But uh, basically this bin is being run like a normal worm bin that I do here. It's got a mix of my red wigglers, my blue worms, and my European night crawlers. It gets the paper bedding. It gets normal kitchen scraps. But what it does not get is my powdered eggshell that I put in my regular bins. Now, knowing that there's no, you know, powdered eggshells or, or what have you in nature, I thought, well, I wonder if I can run a bin without, you know, the large amounts of, of eggshell that I put in the other bin. And if I don't give them any grit, what is the, what is the effect? Will they use, you know, whatever crunchy bits there are in the food as a source of grit? Or, you know, is there no effect at all. Now I did run this last year in 2021 and the worms uh, seemed to do fine but I did use some leaf bedding and some people thought well maybe the leaves fell on the ground and that there was grit associated with with that and that maybe it wasn't a true experiment. So I decided to do it again this year and only use my prepared paper bedding that includes shredded paper, cardboard, and coconut coir. And this has been going since the beginning of the year. The worms look very normal in regards to their size and their breeding ability. And also their eating ability. So looks like they are getting into this. Um, I don't know what this was. I'll have to put a picture below as to what this was. It's been almost a month. I think it's pineapple. Just by the amount of fibers in here, I think it's got to be pineapple. But as you can see, they are getting into it and they, they are consuming it. Uh, one of the things that I do wonder if, I don't see that many springtails or anything, but I wonder if maybe the bin helpers are maybe playing a larger role now. Maybe the springtails and the mites have to do a little bit more work to break stuff down than they did previously in bins that have grit. I just don't know. Uh, put your comments below. What do you think? How are they proceeding normally and eating normally even though I'm not adding any grit source in here? I mean, you can see the worms are healthy. I can't see any cocoons here, but the population, I mean, you can see there's a, a set of breeding worms right there on the top. Actually, there's a cocoon right there by my thumb. So they are breeding. It doesn't seem to be stopping them from breeding. It's not slowing down their eating. So, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Um, they're, you know, how are they doing and having normal, you know, food consumption and breeding without that extra grit? Do you think there's just natural, you know, stuff that they're getting in the food that's uh, turning into grit or being used as grit? Or, you know, even though they do have a, um, a gizzard or a crop or whatever like chickens do, maybe they don't need that much. Um, generally, you know, I add a lot to my other bins simply because, you know, what else are you going to do with ground eggshells, right? Um, so I, I, I put them in my other bins, and yet they seem to be acting just about the same. So we've completely turned over the bin. I think that it's, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of the paper and whatnot is turning into castings. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of coconut coir in here to keep this from getting sticky because it, it's the moisture down here is at 60% now during the summer. There's no um, air conditioner or heater in the basement here, so things tend to stay very wet over the summer. So I'm going to add a little coconut coir to this to keep it nice and loose for the worms. But let's get them some food, and they're just going to get some normal kitchen scraps here. These are frozen, which is why I moved the worms. I didn't want to set the frozen food down there um, on top of the little wormies. But I do have some coconut coir here that has already been rinsed. And uh, I'm going to use that to cover up the frozen stuff. And then when we come in the next time, then I'll incorporate this coconut coir into the rest of the bin. Um, oops, need to 
bury that pineapple or whatever it is. So if you liked this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. This bin does in fact have its own playlist, which I will put over there. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.